thank you very much. Time to read. <laughs> I thank you very much. Thanks, Michelle. Well, this morning, a true miracle story. One child's courageous battle with cancer. At just six months old, baby Charlie was diagnosed with a massive brain tumor and given just 10 months to live. Now Charlie's mom, Deirdre, has w written about the family's inspiring story of love and perseverance. And this morning, she joins us with Charlie, who in those pictures is a baby. But this is Charlie here, right? Charlie, tell everybody how old you are. Nine. Nine years old. And this is big brother Jay, right? Yep. And how, how old are you, Jay? I'm 11. You're 11 years old. And um, first Don't of all, ask me how old I am. Yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Deirdre, I did want to talk to you about, um, first of all, little Charlie, little Charlie. You're a big kid now. Mm -hmm. Charlie's uh, battle with cancer. Mm -hmm. First of all, how did you discover that he even had cancer? Well, Charlie was um, about six months old. Um, he had a lot of childhood illnesses, regular childhood illnesses, from colds to a little bit of morning vomiting, um, ear infections. And it just got to the point where I was back and forth to the pediatrician's office an awful lot. And I just at one point thought, something's just not right. I couldn't really explain it. You know, I, I tossed the idea back and forth at the time with some friends, you know, should I bring him back again? I know I've been there so much. And one morning I just woke up and I just had this gut feeling that something wasn't right. And I brought him back to the pediatrician's office and I insisted that he be admitted to the hospital and at first the pediatrician was like he's fine you know everything seems okay these are childhood illnesses but um, I kind of pushed and we took him over to um, a local hospital and we were there for 15 minutes and they did a, a lumbar puncture spinal tap and he um, stopped breathing so wow. we knew that something seriously really was wrong and kind him. of I mean that's how so many of these stories start right. where a mom has an intuition yeah. and and a gut feeling and just thinks I got to press through and I don't know why but I just right. have this feeling what what did they discover? What kind of cancer did Charlie have? Um, at first I thought he had encephalitis and then we were transferred to a more uh, major hospital and it was discovered that he had a lemon sized brain tumor um, in his six month old brain and um, when it was removed it was actually a rare form of cancer known as choriplexus carcinoma and only ten children in the country are diagnosed with this um, form of cancer every year so there was little known facts, little known research, little known statistics other than it had already spread from um, the tumor, which they removed after eight months of brain surgery. It had already spread to his spinal fluid. Incredible. So the difficulty was that um, even though they thought they removed the majority of the tumor, it had already leaked into his spinal fluid. There's no blood in our spinal fluid. There's what's called a blood-brain barrier. Um, so even though they were going to administer chemotherapy, which he endured for 21 months, um, there was no way that the, the chemotherapy was going to get to his spinal fluid, and yet he has now been in remission for seven years. So his story is a true miracle story. Charlie, yeah. do you remember being in the hospital at all? No. You don't remember much of it? What do you, uh, what's, your, what's your favorite thing about having a big brother? Um, what do you guys like to do? Play with the ball and basketball. Play with the ball and basketball, Jay. Is that true? Those are your favorite things. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Do you remember the time when Charlie was in the hospital? Ah, uh, yeah, I remember some of it. Was yeah. it hard for, yeah. to wa to watch your mom go back and forth like that? What was yeah. the toughest part about knowing that he was there? Um, that he was in a lot of pain, and I was just and it's painful to watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I think uh, this, the book is Hope, Faith, and Charlie. And, uh, and actually, I just wanted to also point out, doctor said, you know, Charlie's not going to make it. You know, let him be a case for right. uh, other children, a, a right. case study. And, uh, and here he is alive and well after being diagnosed with six months to live. And uh, Deirdre believes this was really divine intervention that's, that saved her son. Thank you so much Thanks for coming so much. in this morning. And uh, if you'd like to read more about Charlie's story, the book is Hope, Faith, and Charlie. And uh, a Available in all major bookstores? It's actually not because it was self published, but um, you can go to a local bookstore on Amazon and ask them to order it for you. But um, you can get it off of our website, which is hopefaithandjaharli.com. Right. And that website also includes our email address. And we really are, um, the book was written because we do want to let people know that miracles do happen. And I want to be able to help anybody. So my email address is there. And anybody that needs words of encouragement, have been recently diagnosed that just needs somebody to talk to. That's really the purpose of the book is to is to renew people's belief in miracles. And we'll link it to our website too. Deirdre, thanks, thanks so much so for coming much. in this thanks morning. Thanks for having thanks, us. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Jay.